Welcome back to Taiwan Outlook. Joining us today is Dr. Wu Zizong, who is the president of Alliance Francais. Uh, president Wu, uh, we've been talking about the relationship between Taiwan and EU, but as mm. we know that France has been a very important leading country mm. in the EU. What happened in, in France could have impacts on the direction of the EU. Could you tell us about your views about uh, what's going on now in French politics? Uh, so the most important thing is that France uh, is uh, uh, electing their president yeah. in uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah. And uh, Chirac uh, will, take the uh, will be no more in the French uh, politics. Uh, so uh, it's just like every country when they are uh, when they are elected their president, it's really very hard, <laughs> and uh, they are also debating their foreign policy, their role in the European Union, and uh, also their economic policy, just like uh, every country. So there could be some changes on the part of France in terms of uh, French uh, European policy. Uh, especially this time, I believe uh, yes, because they are talking about the new generation of uh, yeah. French politics. As you, if you understand the French uh, interim politics, uh, so many politicians is very old, yeah. and now they really have including a new President generation. Chirac, yeah. yeah, including President Chirac. And there's a, uh, the, uh, uh, the, now the one who be, will be uh, elected, uh, Monsieur Sarkozy, yeah. have no have only uh, 50 years old, yeah. and uh, we also have a very young woman, uh, Madame Royal. Yeah. Uh, Another one, the centuries, uh, Monsieur Beihu, are, are all very young uh, mm -hmm. politicians. So I, I think uh, they have all have new thinking about the, uh, the role of France uh, in the European Union. So I believe uh, 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 the new president will try to uh, create a, a new uh, vision mm -hmm. uh, for uh, a new European vision for France. What's the major difference between the uh, younger leaders and uh, senior leaders in terms of their visions for you? I think uh, they are not so uh, European centric uh, yeah. and uh, they don't insist so much uh, as a French, uh, um, a French uh, um, uh, superpower role in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago and Hawaii are so against uh, uh, America Iraq uh, policy. Yeah. It's just because uh, they still have uh, the thinking of uh, the sure. goal yeah. and they don't, he just don't want to follow the US. Mm -hmm. uh, and he do just don't think that uh, France is normal, uh, the superpower. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, like uh, the past, uh, and uh, the new generation think uh, now they should be more pragmatic and uh, mm. should uh, cooperate more with Germany, mm. especially uh, the most important thing that uh, the, uh, their relation with Germany, and mm. then to try to present Europe uh, as a new uh, as a new uh, 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 regional role, mm -hmm. uh, as a new role in the world politics. Some people accused uh, President Xi of being a panda hugger, you know, mm. moving closer too close to China. Yeah. Do you think that the young generations of the leaders have different views about China and even Taiwan? Yeah, yeah, I think certainly. Every every people say that Xi uh, is uh, uh, the the more, most pro China president in the French history. Mm -hmm. And why? Why is he so pro China? Because in the strategic view of Xi Hag, Xi Hag want to make uh, China a very strong alliance, alliance of. France uh, and uh, to be against uh, the yes. U.S. Uh, policy. So mm -hmm. it's a world geopolitical thinking uh, that mm -hmm. uh, Xi Hak is playing. Mm -hmm. If not, uh, France do, do, do not need uh, to have a so close relation with China. Mm -hmm. So it's still based on what I, I call the, uh, the goal, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the goal of foreign, uh, the French, uh, French far, foreign mm -hmm. policy. Yeah. As we know that uh, 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 Chancellor uh, Merkel of Germany mm -hmm. now is also taking a different approach yeah. from, his prede from yeah. her predecessor. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the next president of France could also take a different modification yeah, it's, in his it's, foreign policy towards it China? It is totally the same example. Schroeder, the uh, pre president uh, chancellor of uh, Germany, mm -hmm. also want to uh, play with Chicago and uh, to have a good relation with uh, China. China and uh, to have a different uh, foreign policy uh, mm -hmm. to be to be uh, to say they are different from the U.S., mm -hmm. but you can find that Merkel, uh, Merkel uh, is now is a uh, very pro the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. chancellor, and uh, Sarkozy is the same thing. He's yeah. the one who have, have the big uh, the, a better chance to mm -hmm. be elected. So I think I believe that the new generation will be very different from their past generation. So will there be any room for improvement of relationship between Taiwan and? friends in the wake of the uh, election? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because uh, we are not take, t telling that the, the period of Xi is really away. It's mm. really away. So they are trying to create a new uh, a new relation with Taiwan. It means that uh, Taiwan is also very important for France. Of yeah. course, China is very important. But uh, the relation with China is no more exclusive. Yeah. So uh, I believe that the new generation will reconsider uh, their uh, Taiwan uh, policy and it mm. will be better for us. How about the public opinion in general? How do they see China and, and how do they see Taiwan? 
in uh, France? In France, uh, in general, um, they have a, a pretty good image of, uh, of uh, China uh, because uh, for many f uh, French, uh, they consider China um, uh, 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 recently have never made war in yeah. the region. Yeah. Uh, after 1979, the Vietnam War, uh, China have a very uh, good, uh, peaceful image in the region. So mm. when friends look at China, they think that it's a peaceful country, mm. and especially that uh, for French people, uh, civilization, civilization is a very important thing, yeah. and uh, China have a very long civilization. Yeah. So uh, friends and China have, a, uh, for them, it's just like China is, a, is friends in, in the eastern region. Uh, yeah. in the East Asia. So uh, they have a pretty good uh, image of China. Mm -hmm. About uh, Taiwan, uh, I regret to say that uh, recently, when every time they are talking about Taiwan, is a mirage corruption <laughs> of Taiwan. Yeah. And because the mirage, uh, the corruption affair of Ta in France is also, uh, is also a very serious affair. Even the president, the premier, was, uh, mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, 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 was uh, concerned in the, in the, uh, in the uh, I mean, in the scandal. scandal. So, but not really in the scandal, but uh, in uh, um, uh, some kind of listening because they want to find the truth. So they make yeah. some listening, and so uh, the uh, the premier was uh, concerned, was linked by uh, the listening affair. So, um, uh, when every time they are talking about Taiwan, for the moment we have not a good uh, image. So I think for Taiwan is I need we need to try to make to have uh, some kind of. Uh, of a new uh, dealing with friends and try to resolve this problem as mm. soon as possible and to find a new, uh, new future with friends. You are the president of uh, uh, Alliance Francaise. What are your major objectives in improving this kind of bilateral understanding of each other? Uh, what, we can, what I can do uh, in Taiwan is that, uh, of course, uh, I encourage uh, people to learn French because they, <laughs> when every time you can speak French, uh, French are, uh, the French people are very, very happy. And also to say that uh, uh, I try to push the idea that uh, Taiwan needs also uh, support from other power and it mm. needs also very good relations from other power, especially from Europe. Mm. Because if Taiwan, if Taiwan wants to have a better international status and uh, if Taiwan wants one day to be recognized, uh, uh, or if one day Taiwan want to be really a member of WHO, we really need the support of friends mm -hmm. of European country, mm -hmm. and friends play a crucial role inside the European Union. So mm -hmm. this kind of uh, uh, strategic thinking made me make me uh, uh, to do many effort. Uh, to try to convince people in Taiwan uh, to pay attention to what happened in France and also to learn their culture mm -hmm. and also to, to study, to go to France to study. Yeah. How about government side? In addition to the s civilian context, yeah. do you think that our government has done enough in, in trying to reaching out to, to you, to especially France? Not, not really enough. I, I believe that our government only uh, put. Uh, of course, we need to pay attention to the U.S., yes. but we put too many resources to the U.S. Uh, and uh, uh, we need also to uh, pay attention to uh, Germany, to France, and uh, mm -hmm. to the U.K. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, be, I believe that our government needs to uh, put, uh, make a, a better effort to try to improve our relation with France. In addition to the language barriers, uh, yeah. what are the other obstacles that uh, we had to overcome in order to improve the bilateral relationship? Uh, you mean uh, uh, Taiwan and France? Ta Taiwan and France. Uh, um, in some way, when we can speak French, of course, it's better. Mm. But what I'm trying to do is not only to uh, convince people of Taiwan to learn French, because mm. now also the young generation of French also can speak, speak English. English because they are, they are become, I, just, I just mentioned they are new uh, generation now they are becoming more and more pragmatic uh, pragmatic so mm -hmm. uh, normally if you want to go to France if you can speak English also you can as I believe now it's really easier to communicate with French people mm -hmm. so uh, it's, it's uh, the, the thinking of to, for Taiwan to have a, more relation with other power to mm -hmm. let uh, to let other power to learn more about Taiwan. That uh, I think that we should make an effort. That means that uh, the war is not only China, the war is not only the U.S., the war is not mm -hmm. only uh, Japan, but also we have European country, mm -hmm. and also we have, for example, Africa, and also have a South America. This mm -hmm. is very important for but us. But unfortunately, in the past few years, there have been some negative feelings of Taiwan towards France because yeah, yeah. Uh, President Shahak has been very critical yeah, of yeah, Taiwan. Yeah, for instance, yeah. uh, over the issue of referendum, constitution, yeah, and so yeah, on. Yeah. How can we fix the problem as a result of this you know, negative? We need to uh, to have, uh, I mean, to to really have better. Uh, 
uh, friendship with them. You, we, we just uh, remember that uh, she had criticized us so much. But we should also remember in year 90, it's also that friends uh, that sell us uh, the Mihaj, uh, 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 the Mihaj uh, yeah, uh, fighter, also the Lafayette fighter, mm. that push now the US to, to sell us the F-16 fighter. So France is also a country that dare to break down the consensus, or to break down the balance. And uh, France also say that uh, for Taiwan, at the moment when they sell a uh, uh, weapon to Taiwan, they said for a small country, Country, there is never offensive uh, weapon. Mm. All the weapon is defensive. So mm -hmm. France uh, normally should sell us uh, every weapon they consi uh, consider it's necessary for us. So I, I mean, French in French thinking, uh, they always have uh, uh, their, of course, the independence of their foreign uh, policy making. But uh, France also, uh, in, in some way, need. Uh, I mean, we need the support of France, uh, and then we can uh, create a, a more balanced. Uh, 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 relation with China and they also can help us to uh, guarantee our national security. But as we know that France has been a leading country in pushing for the lifting of the arms embargo against yeah, China yeah, in recent yeah, years. Yeah. So are they for the purpose of commercial interest instead of keeping the so-called military balance in the Taiwan Strait? Yeah, but uh, uh, in, they also do so many business with Taiwan. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, I, again, uh, for, for France, we are also their fourth uh, uh, trade partner mm -hmm. in the region. So mm -hmm. we are not countries that are so small that uh, uh, France can ignore us. So in some way, that to convince them uh, to, to convince them that uh, they still need to do some business with Taiwan. And uh, I think the most important thing that is that France don't win every. Uh, commercial contract uh, in China, mm -hmm. they also lose uh, something. So uh, we should, uh, in some way, try to uh, to maintain uh, the balance between uh, China and uh, uh, I mean China and France, and then uh, we will have find uh, the common interest with France. Coming back to the issue of European Union uh, yeah. integration and also expansion, and as we know that uh, Taiwan is investing in some particular countries, individual countries in the EU. Yeah. Whom do you think are the best you know candidate places that we should go? Uh, investing more in EU in order to s use that as a sp you know jumping board to come mm. into the uh, big EU market. Uh, I believe a country like the Czech Republic uh, or Holland, mm -hmm. because Holland is a country just like very much Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, Holland uh, is small, but uh, when uh, in Europe uh, they call Holland a small country but great people. Yeah. And Dutch used to rule Taiwan. Yeah, Dutch like used to rule Taiwan. Yeah. So uh, we uh, traditionally have a special relation with uh, uh, Holland. Mm. And for those, uh, for example, just like the Czech Republic, because uh, on the past they are very anti-communist, so yeah. we still can use uh, their, this kind of feeling. Uh, to uh, try to make a better relation with them. So there are many countries that we yeah. should do uh, really a big effort. And then I believe that in the future uh, it will be very helpful for mm -hmm. uh, Taiwan international status. Some people argue that we had too many offices in EU. You mm -hmm. know, uh, maybe we can merge mm. or try to streamline our office. Do you mm. agree that? Uh, I don't really agree because uh, uh, EU, those EU country is really uh, the country that uh, in the future you, we can expect uh, because of their human rights consideration, mm -hmm. because of their, uh, their, principle, uh, their principle, because of their basic value that can help Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So we really, uh, on the, uh, in, in the contrary, I believe that we should increase our representation in, for example, Northern European country. For yeah. example, a country like uh, Iceland, yeah. we have no representation there. Yeah. And I believe if we can uh, have uh, some kind of representation there and uh, try to have a good uh, uh, connection, a uh, good relation with them. Uh, maybe they can help us in the in the future. So, uh, in in, in a very special European region, I believe we should increase. Mm -hmm. But other country, because it's really very money. Uh, money uh, uh, driven. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, maybe we can decrease. It's true in other regions. But in Europe, I think we should pay a big, uh, bigger attention there. Uh, f let's talk about the Vatican a little bit. Uh, yeah, they are yeah. concerned about that uh, Vatican could switch diplomatic uh, yeah. recognition from Taiwan to China. Yeah. Do you have that kind of concern as well? Yeah, I think I have also this kind of concern, but uh, it is some, something that uh, for the moment we can do anything. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can do nothing. Yeah. Uh, but Vatican was also the first country who invited our president to be in Europe. Yeah. So our president was the first president in the history of the Republic of China to formal visit yeah. uh, Europe. So <laughs> it's two-way. 
So uh, for the moment, we, we just can uh, wait and uh, uh, we can stay and wait. And for the moment, I think uh, we can do nothing for the moment. Yeah, and and in terms of official ties between Taiwan and, and EU, yeah. as you can see that there are limitations. Yeah. But uh, we've been trying to push the envelope and try to improve, upgrade the official ties between yeah. Taiwan and EU. Yeah. What do you what what should best hope for? You know. Uh, I think. Uh, for, for the moment, the best thing to convince Europe is that because so many Taiwanese people uh, went to Europe to visit uh, yeah. those countries, maybe we can try uh, that uh, for the, for the Schengen visa to a have visa. A, yeah to have a longer uh, longer visa, not only three months. Maybe they can give us a one year of like, mm -hmm. just like a U.S. Uh, five years, uh, yeah. or maybe we can go to try to convince them to let to let us, to let us go to Europe without visa. Yeah, visa free you know, we take we, we, we take the example of Japan that already let us uh, uh, enter Japan uh, without a visa. So it's this kind of uh, issue that uh, I think we can try to improve for the moment. But uh, to uh, really uh, ask a European country to recognize Taiwan uh, formally or Republic of China formally, I think for the moment is really too far. And it should be based on many better relations with European country that should be realized one day. Thank you very much, Dr. Wu. Thank you for giving us very insightful observations. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Taiwan Outlook, and see you next week.